this is my nightly routine. I normally get my coffee pot ready so that all I have to do is plug it in in the morning. Um, so yeah, I just get this ready and that's kind of really convenient because in the morning I don't feel like making coffee and so then what I do is I just get it ready the night before so I'm just going to get my coffee pot ready got a little YouTube going on here I'm watching now uh, Close Encounters documentary, and I don't know what everybody else does for their nightly routine, but this is mine. So I'm just going to get my coffee pot all ready, pop that in there, and then uh, normally what I do is I sit and I watch a little bit of TV, and by TV I mean YouTube, I don't have cable or anything like that. So, now my coffee maker is ready for the morning, sitting over there, and then normally, like I said, what I do is I just watch some watch a little bit of YouTube and I know I look like crap. I don't care. Um, so people were talking about nighttime routines and what goes on in a van in van life at night and so I thought I'd show I'll give you a little bit of a glimpse into what I do every night. Um, so yeah I just Get my coffee pot ready. I like to get that done because, because I don't want to have to deal with that in the morning. And let's see, so now everything gets dirty. There we go. Why am I crooked? Huh? I don't know. Maybe I have to sit like this. <laughs> So yeah, I got my my YouTube going on over here. Got my fan in the window because it's still quite warm. And uh, in a few minutes, what I'll do is I'll get the porta potty ready for the night, so that in the middle of the night, if I have to go, all I have to do is just open it up. I usually keep like a cover over it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I keep it covered. Jeez. It's going to be a horrible video. Anyways, I keep it covered, so I take this off and I roll it up and I put it up there. And there's a blanket under here, and I normally take that up front and put it in the front seat. So I keep this all open for in the middle of the night, and so I'll bring you back when I'm getting ready to do that. Another thing that I normally do if we're expecting some kind of inclement weather is I check the radar just to see if I'm going to be able to sleep with my windows open and this is what the weather looks like for us tonight looks like the storms are getting kind of close but not close so I should be able to sleep with the windows open tonight um, doesn't look like, and this goes all the way up to midnight. So what I'll do is later on I'll check it again and make sure that, you know, like say 2, 3 o'clock in the morning that the uh, rain isn't going to come in. Because on this window over here, I have to actually go outside to close that. Now, I can leave this one open because I can close it from the inside. 
So it all depends on the weather, whether I leave this one open or not. But anyways, that's another thing that I do at night just to keep ahead of the game, you know? Okay, so taking off the cover from the... Oh, let me stop this. There we go. I can take it off the cover of my toilet. And what I do is I just fold it up and put it up here where my clothes are. And uh, let me try to show you that. So then I just stick it up here for the night. And then the blanket that's on top, I just take this and put it in the front of the, the van just to get it out of the way. So this is the blanket. It's a 12 volt blanket and I have two of these. I have one on my bed and then I have this one that when it gets really cold I'll put this on top, but for now, I'm just going to put it up in the front of the van, and that's how I clear off my porta potty for the night. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the house, and I'm going to brush my teeth, brush my teeth, and I'm going to um, wash my face and get my jammies on and stuff like that so that I'll be all ready for nighttime when the sun goes down, which is not going to be too long. Now, if I was in a campsite, I would go to the, um, the bathhouse or whatever you want to call it, and I would brush my teeth, you know, wash my face, blah, blah, blah. Um, but right now I'm staying at my daughter's, so that's how I do it here. I just really consider that I'm going to the bathhouse when I go, when I go in to go to the bathroom, you know, and brush my teeth and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Okay, it's getting kind of a little bit dark here, but I'm going to, so the next thing that I would normally do is I would just... Close at least this one curtain here. I'm going to leave that one open for a little while longer. And I will eventually close it. But right now, I just want to have the nice breeze coming through. So, um, yeah, I got my jammies on. Got my jammies on. <laughs> uh, so anyways, yeah, I'm just trying to show you my routine. Um, I'm not actually doing it in the same order that I might do it or in the same at the same time that I might do it, but I'm trying to show you what my nightly routine would be. So bring you back in a little while. Okay, so recently I've been having problems because of the sun. Um, keeping my window covering on this side of the van. Um, so I have to take it off during the day because it's going to fall off anyways because the sun is so hot. So then this is what I would do next is I would try to put this back up in here so that I have a little bit of privacy at night. Now this is something that I'm working on trying to... Uh, get corrected, but for right now, I have to put this thing in every single night, so, I don't even know, yeah, you can see it, so I just have to put this little thing in here, I've got it held up with electrical tape right now, which is not helping, and I know that. Um, I just haven't figured out. I don't know why this thing is crooked. 
I just haven't figured out a way to uh, keep it up there. And I don't really want to keep that particular thing up there. I think I'm going to try to put some curtains over here, but I have to figure out a way to, to get them to stay. So that's one of the projects that I'm working on. Um, but yeah, so that would be my next thing that I do at night. Okay, so now that I got the screen put on this window, or the, I don't know, the blackout thing put on this window, and this curtain closed, I'm just kind of, the next couple hours, I'm just going to kind of hang out in here and watch some video. Um, I'll probably sit out in my chair outside and listen to the birds for a little while. And uh, But anyways, so when I get ready to actually go to bed, I will bring you back and we'll do another little closing segment so that you can see what my nightly routine is. So another thing that I do um, normally every night is I play... Um, triaminos with my sister and so this is what the game looks like this is our current game she's not on yet tonight but I'm waiting for her to get on so yeah that's what I do on my tablet I just play games with her and actually a um, little story about this game it actually came in very handy to have this um, one time when I would see my hair is all sticking out and everything um, one time when I was uh, on my way to Virginia from Illinois um, I had absolutely no cell service but I was able to send a message to my sister I can't get that out of my face I was <laughs> able to send a message to my sister uh, through the game and to let her know that I was fine and everything was good and I was in my next campsite. So, you know, sometimes stuff like this really comes in handy. I'm not like a game crazy person, but, you know, sometimes it's nice to have um, extra contact with the outside world when you're living in a van. Well, the clouds moved in, so I did go out and I closed this side. Um, seems like the internet might be out. I'm checking it now. I need to restart. Playing my game with my sister. Let's see if the internet's out. Here we go. Now I can finish watching my Naga Rally. That's what I'm doing tonight, guys. Oh, can you see that? Every time a foreign leader, a president, a prime minister, a king, a queen, a dictator, but you get a little bit angry about it, and, and you know what you do? You go into fight, but it ends up being better than what you and a good one for those of you that love your children, of which I would think probably it's 95%. To keep your family farms and ranches and it's your country. Okay, I'm doing a little bit of a snack. I got some seriously sharp cheddar. Still watching Trump's uh, rally, as you can hear in the background. Put the jobs some cheese. We want to help people. We want to be gracious. And we want people. We need people, frankly, because we have so many companies moving into our country. We're the hottest country 
They want to move their plants. So they need people. They have to come in through merit. Merit. Last month alone, 100,000 illegal aliens. Yeah, were and I got some pepperoni here, here too. Now this pepperoni is pretty, pretty hot, but it's actually pretty good. So this is my snack for tonight. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Just enough pepperoni for the cheese that I cut. I know you're not going to be able to see that. There you go. There's cheese on each one of those pepperonis, and that's my snack tonight. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I just recorded because I thought I was recording, and of course I wasn't, and then blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so uh, let me try it again. Let me bring up the weather radar. I'm just checking it one more time before I go to bed. That's how I usually do it if I know there's storms in the area. Um, and let's see if I can show you. a couple seconds. And it doesn't look like too much is coming our way. Better safe than sorry, I say. And I closed this window over here. Um, just because I don't want to have to run around the van because, like I said, I can't uh, reach this door through, you know, because I got the screen there. So I'm just glad that I closed it anyway. So I'm rambling at this point. I'm tired. Um, so I brought the weather radar up and it doesn't look like anything's coming this way. Um, I went and I checked my video, and I did get a comment from Samantha Dodd. I do appreciate the comment, Samantha Dodd, and I will answer you tomorrow. So, um, all right, well, anyways, guys, I'm getting ready to go to bed, and um, so I just thought I'd let you see my nightly routine. I know this is a dark video, and I know you can't see much. Uh, I appreciate you guys, everybody watching and commenting, subscribing, all of that kind of stuff. All right. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good night.